Yo yo, welcome back to Silverpunk. In today's video I'm going to be doing some metal casting, turning a 3D print into a solid silver portrait of Reptile from Mortal Kombat. Also I'll do another little bonus ball. Let's get into it. As you can see here's the 3D print, cool little one, look at that bad boy, look at the details on that. So first thing we've got to do, got to get the screw in it so we can pull it out the sand a bit easier, so I'll just grab the drill. Now Reptile was one of them cool little characters, I remember it from the very first Mortal Kombat and it was one of those, it was like what they call, I think they call it a secret character or an unlock character, where he, he just appeared, you'd be doing a fight and then he'd just, he'd just appear and you could start fighting him for a bit and then he'd disappear again, so it was like a special character that jumped in and out in the first one, so I thought he's really cool and it was the first time I could, from memory, I could remember a computer game ever having that, so yeah, just so that's why I had to do him. Not the most famous of characters, Reptile from the first one, but yeah, he was there, it was like, yeah, can you see me, can you not see me, can you fight me, can you fight me? What the hell am I saying? So as you can see, we're just, we're just putting some sand on now, and the first couple of layers I just put through the sieve, so it's nice and fine, and we want it to be nice and fine. So it just goes in all the all the little details in the model. If we were just putting big clumps in, it wouldn't take very well. It wouldn't be very crisp. So I'm just gently pushing it down. As you can see, with my fingertips to get it in place, and we'll start lamping in now, and then we'll really push it down and get some real pressure on onto it to get a nice crisp impression in the casting sand. So here we go, then what we'll do now, we'll just give it another little tiny pressing just to make sure we get all the details we want, just push it in slightly. And now what I'll do also, I'll use it, as you can see, the pliers, just trying to get equal pressure on both sides so one bit doesn't go in further than the other. So we get a nice, you know, nice flat back basically, that's what we're trying to do there, keep it all going in at the same level. And then what we'll do, we'll get the silver punk screw and then try and get it out nice and clean. And then we can do the pull. Don't forget guys, coming later, we have this epic other little bonus pull. So 
there you go you can see it's come out as a little bit broke away as you can see so i will redo this one i'll put a bit more powder on and give it another impression because you see some broke off around his neck area so i'll quickly redo another one right guys just before we crack on with the pour i have had a few people asking me in the comments and and privately as well dming me whether i actually sell any of my pours and i actually do uh, you'll see my website here so you just scrolling through that's a nice little school school bar i've got on i do sell them so if you are interested just uh, check out the website www.silverpunk.org well worth a look if you're interested now let's get on to the serious stuff the pool Oh yeah, look at that bad boy you're getting at. Oh yeah guys, looking cool. Let's get him over for the quench. Oh yeah. Let's get chipped away. Ay, ay, ay. Get down, mate. I want to fend you three times. Go on. Try and do a video with you. Go on, son. Right, so as promised, here we go. Here's the bonus pour. And as you can see, I've done a close-up portrait. Just, just his head, basically. There he is. So let's get straight into the pour.
If you've enjoyed this silver pour, check out this little bad boy up here. This is where I make Sub-Zero, another Mortal Kombat icon. Go check it out. Thank you.